Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So, uh, Phoenix had therapy, Avery took a nap, and then I put him down. And as soon as I put him down, she woke up. And she looked like she was going to fall back to sleep, so I left her in there. I went downstairs, I got the rest of the laundry out, and now she's just whining. So I'm going to have to go get her, and I'm feeling very blah today. Like, extremely blah and just i don't know and i really wanted to just kind of relax and now i'm gonna have no time to relax and she only slept an hour and a half so that means that later she's going to be extremely fussy which already i know because she's not gonna want to sleep later either and then right before bedtime she's gonna be super tired and then yeah so i'm already projecting it and preparing for it and mentally i'm exhausted from it because it's just like oh why can't she just snap it's always on the days that i just really need to relax that this happens and i hate it but it's all comes with being a parent every day can be perfect i hope you're having a great day so that was a bad start i guess to the vlog so just kind of want to clarify or just talk to you guys for a little bit this might be the only clip in here today or the only, i might just make this the vlog because i don't feel like vlogging today so i have been feeling very blah and i've been fighting with the fact that i feel this way i don't know if any of you have ever felt this way so let me know you can private message me if you want but it's like a fight against yourself um I have a great life. I have two healthy, smart kids who are just amazing. I have a husband who works so, 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 so hard for this family and this marriage and, and just to provide and always put his, our needs above his needs. And I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. So why do I feel blah all the time or not all the time, but lately? Um, it's like you try to hide it and try to just like ignore it because it's like I have such a great life. Um, I have everything I can want and more like, you know, and why do I feel this way? I shouldn't feel this way. It's selfish of me to feel this way. Um, I have a great, I have everything is great. So there's no reason to feel blah and down and out and feel like crying all the time and um that face <laughs> what's that face give mom a kiss mm. oh thank you thank you no you can't grab it <laughs> she, she really wants here grab this look at your brother oh so it's kind of like I don't, I don't even know where I was going with this. It's just kind of like a fight within myself, just telling myself that I have no reason to feel this way. So why do I feel this way? Like, if any of you guys have ever felt this way or feel this way, what do you do? So I don't know. I've Since this morning, I've woken up and I've just been like, I just have a heavy heart and I just like, I feel blah like there's no other way to say it but that you know there there are a lot of <laughs> internal struggles like I want to lose weight but I feel like I have no motivation to work out I feel like I don't have the time to work out and I know there is time but it's like I get up in the morning I get them ready and I have to rush to take a shower to get myself ready before a therapist gets here and yeah I could just not take a shower and then work out when the therapist leaves and they're napping but it doesn't always happen that way and then there's another therapist coming so I won't have a chance to work out and shower before the next therapist comes so I have to kind of do it early in the morning and once you've showered it's kind of like I don't want to work out and I know these are all excuses so it's like where when do you change that mindset and be like these are excuses I need to change something and I'm obviously not happy with how I look my weight my hair my <laughs> Everything about me physically I'm not happy with and that could be why I feel this way and I feel so blah and um, but I don't have anything to 
to want me to change this like there's no motivation in me and I used to be so motivated and so and now I just don't have it in me and if anything it's just like well whatever I'm just I'm my body's never gonna change or I'm never gonna change so I'm just gonna continue to just eat crappy or do this or do that I can't even talk because she just she I don't what do you want what do you want she was fine. I was just sitting here on the couch and she was fine before I started vlogging. What do you want? Mm -hmm. And then a Phoenix gave me a hard time this morning because we are trying to get him out of the um, the iPod and the iPhone obsession. So we think that, you know, it's like when you can't have something, you want it. You know, that's normal, right? Like if you can't have donuts you want donuts so the minute you see them and you can have them you want all of them so that's with phoenix we never let him have the phone to, well not never but it's it's only sometimes that he can have the cell phone or the ipad or or anything so when he does have it it's like i want it i want it now or when he sees it i want it i want it now because i don't always have it so we were like okay what if we just kind of always had it available to him or gave it to him once a day so if he asked for it or if he saw my phone i'd be like no later you can get it and then when later comes i give it to him and he takes it and he knows that mommy said later and now is later and look you got it and then we're gonna say bye now to it but you're gonna get it tomorrow or later so that way when i do get a phone call or something I can look at my phone for a second and him not go crazy you know or when we're out and about and he sees other people's phones he will not go crazy so we we thought like maybe that'll work so for the past few days we've been giving it to him um like after therapy um after therapy before bedtime like uh, like an hour an hour and a half like when he's eating dinner type thing and when we say when it's time for bed we say okay well to go upstairs say bye bye ipad and he says bye bye ipad we take it away he kind of whines for a second but he's over it so it's been going good like that and then the next morning he's like i want ipad or randomly i want ipad and i tell him no you you can get it later you know we'll give it to you later or whatever and he whines a bit but today from the moment he woke up he was like i want ipad i want ipad and most of the things he does on the ipad most of the time he uses the calculator which he has a little calculator or he'll look through abcs or he'll watch like an abc thing like that he watches on tv so it's nothing like so dramatic that he doesn't do other ways like he can look at a calculator a regular calculator he can watch his abcs on the tv <sighs> but i think it's just the power of being able to do what he wants and for since he's had it for the past few days he'll there'll be times like he'll have it he'll put it down he'll go play with something else he'll grab it again he'll put it down just like if it was a regular toy so the obsession is not as heightened but today it's just like he really really wanted it and i don't give it to him before therapy or um before any of his therapies because then it's just going to be a tr hard transition so i only give it to him like i said after he's had both his therapies from between dinner and bedtime he can have it for like an hour um so i don't know but today all morning he was just crying and i was pulling out different toys sitting with him and doing different things playing with him like keeping him and it would last for like a couple minutes and then he would cry again i want ipad i want ipad so well he's standing up i here i thought he was sleeping. this morning it was just the concert i wanted i wanted even when his therapist got here he she he was screaming and then he kept like um going to attack avery like you know being frustrated with her taking it out on her and stuff and it was just like it was just one of those mornings and i was already feeling blah so i was just like oh my god just so that's why i really wanted to relax and then avery woke up and now he's this is our other struggle we are gonna have to transition him to a bed very very soon because he is starting, like you guys saw a couple days ago, he's starting to pull the door open. And so we moved the crib back and he can't reach the door anymore. But now our fear is that he's going to try to reach it and keep trying and then fall out of the crib. <sighs> so that's another thing we're working on. And a question for you guys who have transitioned kids from a crib to a bed. Oh.
what did you just do? Did you just put a gate in front of the door? I don't know. Let me know what you did when you changed your kid to a bed. And so I just got this message on Instagram and I don't know who you are because obviously you're too afraid to have a picture or be a real person and you can leave comments. I'm all for criticism. I'm not perfect whatsoever. Obviously, I just um, shared that in the last clip before this and how ironic that I get this now. Like, obviously, this wasn't shown. I, I <coughs> recorded that and then I got, I just saw this message on my Instagram, like, what, an hour later. And it's funny because I'm all for criticism. You can criticize me. I put my life out there to be criticized. Not to be criticized, but I know it can be criticized. But if you have something to say, why don't you s private message me or message us? And I've never addressed haters and people criticizing because it doesn't matter. But this, what upsets me is like, you can tell me, you can private message me and say, hey, how about this, this, and that? And I will gladly write back to you and have a conversation with you. But when you want to write it on a public form and you're not even a public person, like there's no picture of you, there's no like, you're obviously just like a troll out there, then that you like, you're pointless. Anything you can say, you don't have the guts to just address it to the person. If there's somebody I care about and I need to tell them something, I'm going to tell them. I don't need the world to, I don't need to tell the world. So, one, I don't claim to eat perfect. I do not. I do. I try to feed my kids as good as they possibly can. Avery eats just about anything, so it's a little easier for her to, for me to feed her great stuff. Phoenix is a very picky eater. He has sensory issues, and whatever he can, he's going to eat. I'm going to give, just because I don't share all that with you guys, doesn't mean that, you know, it's not out there, but I'm not... Um, I don't sit here and claim to be like, oh, look what I'm eating. Look what I'm feeding my kids. It's perfect. It's not at all. And I just, <laughs> it's funny that I just said that in the, in the, in the clip before this about how I've been feeling. And for that person, I did complete the beach body workout. I've completed two of them, T25 and the 21 day fix. And I've had awesome results from it. And then just like anything else, he went back to not eating good. And then and not being able to work out or not having the motivation to work out and then you end up back where you started so yes I did complete both those programs but I obviously didn't continue the lifestyle and fell off the bandwagon because and just like I said previous to this it's something I have a hard time with so anyway uh, that's the end of that and how I'll address that but if you have something to say to me about my life you can message me and tell me, um, but if you leave it on a public forum in a negative way, I'm going to just delete you and block you and that's it. Um, regardless if it's constructive, constructive criticism or not. So just for anybody in the future, that's what I'll say about that and that's it. I, if you can't um, come at me in a right way, then I'm not going to... Um, I'm not, I'm not going to even bother. I'm just going to delete you and block you and be done with you. So I don't claim to be perfect. I vlog my life just like a ton of other people do. And um, I tell you guys my flaws and I'm honest with you. I don't try to hide behind everything and be like, oh, look, I was just perfect because it's not. And the clip before this obviously shows that because I just kind of broke down to you guys and told you about my motivation and all this. And then this person leaves that comment, which is funny because obviously this by the time this video is out, this is all in the past. But it's just ironic how how that all happens anyway guys i will see you guys tomorrow for another day in our lives thank you to all the people who are supporting us and on this journey of motherhood with us and know that we're not perfect nobody's perfect and that's why we're just living through life trying to make the best of our life and um doing what we can so anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow good job holding on what a big boy
It's okay, Avery. Good job, buddy. Okay, mama.